She's got you high and you don't even know yet. She's got you high and you don't even know yet. The sun's in the sky, it's warming up your bare legs, and you can't deny you're looking for the sunset. She's got you high and you don't even know yet. She's got you high and you don't even. Hi. Okay. So currently washing my bed sheets and I just wanted to make a another little vlog and so yesterday or I guess two days ago I finished the path to my higher self schedule that I made for myself and so that means I did it every day for three weeks which is so cool but near the end I realized that I was hoping by the end of the three weeks I also maybe would be able to have some normalcy again to like resuming activities um and that's not the case so i think i'm just going to keep doing it uh in cycles so i just started i just put all the sticky notes back up on the wall and every day after i do it i take down a sticky note um which i'd like to do so i think now that i'm kind of doing like round two um the reason I chose three weeks to begin with is because it takes 21 days to form habits. So I definitely feel like settled in my routine, which is awesome. I don't know if I want to do the same chanting that I did uh, previously. I did, I did enjoy doing it once I learned all the words. It felt really good um, to feel like that's my neighbor's dog. Um, feel like the energy moving. I feel like I'm far from the camera. Hi. <laughs> um, but you know, whatever. I was doing like 15 minute meditation and then five minute chanting um, to equal 20 minutes, but I think I'm just gonna do, go back to my 20 minute meditation practice. Also have like an, a small altar in my room that I sit in front of when I meditate, which I never share on social media because it's a private thing. Um, it's cool to have that for myself, but what it is, I have like books, uh, like spiritual books, I have like a little clock that I look at, I have a little bowl with Palo Santo and a lighter and some crystals and um, some things that smell good, so that's like where I sit and practice, I just wanted to add that. I guess that's kind of the only change I want to make for now. I definitely am not as stir crazy sitting in my apartment as I was expecting which is a relief for me because sometimes I get antsy. But then when I do start to feel antsy, like that's a sign I need to go take a walk. I did that yesterday. Um, I've also just been like really cleaning every corner of my apartment, like all the time. And oh yeah, I've been reading. Over the past two weeks, I've read Girls and Sex and Normal People. Um, Girls and Sex is nonfiction. It's all this research compiled by Peggy Orenstein, who's a family friend of my cousin's in the Bay Area. And so they gave me this book a few years ago for Hanukkah and I just finally read it. I really liked it because it's written in short stories. So it's really easy to read. It's just about like uh, the landscape of being a girl in America, whether that is about sex education, that and sex education could be from like learning that you have a clitoris to like abstinence only so like the whole gamut um I guess there could be some overlap with those two things but then also talks about like hookup culture um in high school and in college I really liked it and it also is kind of some parts I just felt kind of sick to my stomach because like you read about all these experiences that the girls in the book are having and they're real people. There's just so many examples of all of these types of things that occur and if they didn't happen to me then I know at least three good friends who they did happen to and so I just really recommend reading this if you are a girl or if you know a girl. Um, and then she also has her newer book called Boys and Sex, which I'm excited to read. Um, it's currently only in hardcover, so I might wait till it comes out paperback, but maybe not. Okay, so then I also read Normal People, which was so fun to share on Instagram that I was reading because so many people responded and were like, oh my god, I'm so jealous you're reading that for the first time. 
Um, I just love the color, but not the cover. I love the colors of the cover. Um, I also really liked that it's based in Ireland because I just, you know, I never really read books that are about Americans. And it's so smart. Um, it's a romance, but I don't like calling it a romance as I was described it over the past few days because I just feel like that could turn people off from reading it because it's not a frilly book. It's just so relatable. And I guess they're making a Hulu series about it. Anyway, I read this really quickly and I enjoyed it. So next I'm going to read How to Change Your Mind by Michael Pollan, which is all about psychedelics. And that's kind of like a hefty um, nonfiction book. So I might also read something else at the same time, but we'll see. Um, I've also been doing lots of yoga with Love Yoga's, um, live videos or Sky Ting's live videos. So later today I'm going to do Sky Ting class with Patrick. He's one of my favorite teachers there. So now I'm going to do my manifestation journaling for the day. I'm working through this one course called Rock Bottom, which I'm finding to be really helpful right now, actually. Um, I... I'm enjoying it and then I'm almost done with that and then I'm gonna do the money course which is just like a week long so I'm gonna do both of those at the same time since I have time and um yeah that's what's going on with me I hope you're enjoying these little vlog updates because I like making them so let me know if there's anything you want to see thanks Got you high. She's got. We're doing nothing, but this is gonna be on my on my YouTube, so.